Hello, everybody. My name is Buzzer. And I'm Sparky. Get ready for fun, because you've just joined the, the Bed Bug Bible, Bible Gang. Gang. We are the bed bugs and we like to fly and float and dance and sing. We thank the Lord for everything. We have six legs and we have wings. We are the bed bugs and we like to zip and zoom and say our prayers. We like to climb a lot of stairs. We have antenna in our hair. We are the bed bugs. We are the bed bugs. And we like to tell you stories from the Bible. We are the bed bugs. And we can't wait to tell you stories from the Bible. And we like to pray and praise and eat meringue And if you like the song we sang You're in the Bed Bug Bible Gang Gang, ding, 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 ding Buzzer, are we really heading to heaven today? Today's show is called Heading to Heaven, so... Oh, Sparky, Jesus died and rose so that all of us can go to heaven. Someday, Sparky. But today, we're just going to see some stories about people from the Bible who have already headed to heaven. Our first story is called Elijah and the Chariot. Elijah was a prophet, and he wore a prophet's cloak. The people heard the word of God when old Elijah spoke. Prophets share God's word. Nice cloak, Elijah. Elisha was Elijah's friend. He loved the Lord as well. The two of them liked traveling. They had good news to tell. Elisha and Elijah, this is going to get confusing. Pay close attention. One day, Elijah got the word. The time had finally come for God to raise Elijah up into his heavenly home. Elijah's going to heaven. That's the good word. Elijah said to his young friend, It's time for me to go. You must not try to follow me. Elisha just said, No! Elisha will stick with you, Elijah, as far as he can go. Elisha said, I'll follow you until the very end. So off they went, the prophet followed by his faithful friend. Elisha really does love his friend. They came to River Jordan. It was wide and deep and blue. Elijah dipped his cloak in there. The water split in two. I think God has a hand in this. I think Elijah has his cloak in this. When they crossed to the other side, Elijah asked his chum, What present can I give to you before my trip is done? That's a pretty big question. What would you ask for? Elisha knew just what to ask. He spoke up proud and true. I want God's spirit so that I might be a prophet, too. Elisha wants to be a prophet. He'll share God's word as well. Just as well as Elijah did. Elijah smiled at this request. Just watch, he said with glee. And if you see me fly away, a prophet's what you'll be. Ooh, I can't wait to see. I've got my eyes open wide. Just then, a chariot of fire flew down between the friends. Elijah rose to heaven on high within a whirling wind. He really did fly away. And Elisha saw the whole thing. He left his prophet's cloak behind. Elisha tried it on. And from that day, he spread God's word, just like his friend has done. Now Elisha really is a prophet, too. He'll share God's word everywhere. Heavens to Betsy! Sparky, how did you like our first Heading to Heaven story? It made me feel just like Elijah. How so, Sparky? I'm blown away. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like that, you'll love this song about Elijah and the chariot. Elijah the prophet is leaving today. Yo ho, blow the man round. Elisha walks with him along the whole way. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. Elijah would like to give his friend a gift. Yo ho, blow the man round To be the Lord's prophet is Elisha's wish Here comes the wind to blow the man round A fiery chariot splits the two friends Yo ho, blow the man round Elijah flies heavenward in a strong wind Here comes the wind to blow the man round 
Elisha has seen his friend rise in the air. Yo, ho, below the man round. Now he is a prophet with good news to share. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. Sing along. Elijah the prophet is leaving today. Yo, ho, blow the man round. Elisha walks with him along the whole way. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. Elijah would like to give his friend a gift. Yo, ho, blow the man round. To be the Lord's prophet is Elisha's wish. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. Each chariot splits the two friends. Yo, ho, blow the man round. Elijah flies heavenward in a strong wind. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. Elisha has seen his friend rise in the air. Yo, ho, blow the man round. Now he is a prophet with good news to share. Here comes the wind to blow the man round. That wind-whistling song really did blow me away, Sparky. And your voice sounded simply heavenly, Buzzer. Oh, Sparky, why, I, um, oh, oh, we should get heading on to a great game about Elijah and the chariot. Help us match up these pictures from the story of Elijah and the chariot. We can start by finding a match for this picture of the prophet Elijah. Where's the match? There's the matching picture. Great job. Now look at this picture of Elijah's friend, Elisha. Where's the matching picture? Great. You found the matching picture of Elisha right here. Now look at this picture of the prophet's cloak. Which cloak is its match? That's right. There's the matching cloak. Look at this picture of the fiery chariot and find its match if you can. Wow! You're doing great. The chariot's match is over here. Just one more. Where is the match for this picture of a whirling whirlwind? There's the match. You got them all. My heavens, you did a great job. I just bet you're waiting to hear another story of someone who was heading to heaven. Yes, Buzzer. I really, 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 really want to hear it, Buzzer. So don't make me beg. I won't, Sparky. But it's interesting that you should mention begging, because our next story is about a poor old beggar who is headed to heaven. The story is called The Rich Man and the Poor Beggar. As Jesus walked along one day, he met some folks along his way. He told them tales of heaven above and how to live a life of love. I love hearing Jesus' stories. Let's listen in. There was a man, rich as can be. He dressed in purple finery. And in the lap of luxury, he lived his life quite selfishly. Look at all that loot. He's loaded. But just outside this rich man's door, there lived a beggar, old and poor. He had no money for the store, but he was thankful to the Lord. Oh, that poor old beggar! He sure seems happy. The rich man often passed him there, but didn't help and didn't care. He didn't have one cent to spare. That really isn't nice or fair. But he has lots to give. It's got to come from the heart. One day the beggar sadly died. God's angels flew him to the sky, to heaven where he now resides, with Abraham right by his side. This place looks pretty nice. It's heaven, silly. The rich man passed away as well. But not to heaven, sad to tell. Down to a hotter place he fell, to sit and sweat for quite a spell. Uh-oh. That wealthy man looks up to see that beggar high and heavenly. The rich man calls quite pitifully. Oh, Abraham, send help to me. It's too late for that. No one can help you now. My poor old friend is there with you. Perhaps there's something he could do, like flying down to keep me cool with just a water drop or two. Now look who's begging. Ironic, isn't it? 
But Abraham just shook his head. I cannot help you out, he said. For while you lived, you never cared. So now he's here, and you are there. That man never had God in his heart. When God's in there, you love to care. So, Jesus said, my tale is through. Now you know what you ought to do. Live lives filled up with care and love, and keep your faith in God above. I love to love God. Then you're heading in the right direction. Heads up! That story sure was something. It's good to know that we don't have to worry about where we're heading in life, as long as we have Jesus in our hearts and in our minds. I'll always keep my faith in Jesus. Then you're heading to heaven, Sparky, just like the poor beggar in our story. I beg your pardon? I said you're heading to heaven. Which of these pictures from the rich man and the poor beggar story is different from all the others? We can start with this picture of Jesus. Which picture is different? Right, this picture is different from all the others. Now, look at this picture of the rich man. Which one is different from all the others? Yep, now look at this picture of the poor beggar. Which one doesn't match? That's right, this one is not the same. Take a look at this picture of an angel. Which angel is different? You got it. Just one to go. Which of these pictures of a heavenly cloud is different from the others? That's the one. This cloud doesn't match at all. You got them all. Super job, gang. Wow, gang. That game was incredible. And you found all the mismatched pictures. That's what I call using your head. And now I'm proud to present the Bed Bug Bandoliers with their latest, greatest hit, Rub a Dub Bed Bugs. Go grab your soap and your towel too, your bubble bath and some pink shampoo. It's something fun and I think that you gotta try now Gotta try now! Jump in the tub but it's not so wet I think there's something I forget Nobody turned on the water yet And it's dry now Everybody sing hey, hey, hey Hey, hey, hey! Come let's play Come let's play rub a dub a dee rub a dub a dee Happy as can be The tub is filled I'm gonna love it, yeah, I know I will A little splash and a little spill Is no problem Is no problem I hold my breath and I dive right down Just like a fish I can swim around This sunken ship I pretend I found at the bottom Everybody sing hey, hey, hey Hey, hey, hey Come, let's play Happy as can be Everybody sing yo ho ho Come let's go Rub a dub a dub The bubble bath makes a lot of foam A fluffy tubby that's all my own It's like swimming in an ice cream cone That is so I wash my hands and I wash my hair Then I go searching everywhere To find a hidden treasure There's what I'm hoping We can pretend we're snorkeling Or that we're baby sharklings I have to say remarkably The water's clear and sparkly I never thought a bath could be A thing I take so happily A rub a dub dub Just like a seal with flippers I flap Around the tub for one more lap The water's 
training and I'm gonna have to get dry now. This rubber dub has come to an end. I can't believe how much fun it's been. I got to go and get dirty again, so goodbye now. Everybody sing hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come, let's play. Come, let's play. Rubber dub a dee. Thank you, Bandoliers. You gave us time for another great story about someone from the Bible who was heading to heaven. It's called The Day Jesus Flew. Jesus can fly up high like us, Buzzer? And because Jesus flew so high, we've picked a special bedbug to tell our last story. Cool, Buzzer. You'll soon ski, uh, I mean see, Sparky. So without further ado, The Day Jesus Flew. As you can see, I like to ski. No bug can ski as well as me. I love to climb a mountain high so I may ski up near the sky. Skiing is fun. That's snow lie. I ski as high as I can go, but I would like you all to know that once upon the highest hill, I saw someone go higher still. Higher than a mountain? That is high. As I was skiing one fine day, a group of friends climbed up my way. One of those friends was great indeed, for it was Jesus in the lead. Hey, it's Jesus. I'd follow him anywhere. Those friends of Jesus did not stop until they reached the tippy top. Then Jesus spoke quite loud and clear. I skied up close so I could hear. Quiet, Jesus is going to say something. We're listening, Jesus. He said, I have to leave today. When I'll be back, I cannot say. But there's no need to feel so blue. The Holy Spirit lives in you. Where is Jesus going? He's going to live in heaven. Then Jesus said, you all must go down from this hill and to and fro. He told his friends and me and you that we've important work to do. I'm ready to work, Jesus. Just tell us what to do. He said, tell every boy and girl to spread God's love to all the world. And then I heard the Savior say, I will be with you every day. I'll tell everyone that Jesus loves us. And he'll always be with us too. What happened next? I cannot lie. I saw him rising in the sky. Up to the clouds I watched him go. That's pretty high. I told you so. Wow! Look at Jesus go! Have a nice trip, Jesus. That very day I skied on down, and now I ski from town to town to tell each person that I see that Jesus rose for you and me. Jesus is risen! Jesus is risen! I'm happy to hear it! So I've told you the super news that Jesus lives each day with you and watches you from heaven on high. Now it's your turn to tell. Goodbye! I can't wait to tell. Let's get going. I hope you liked our story. It's one of the bed bugs' favorites. The bed bugs love to share the news that Jesus watches over us from his home in heaven above. And Jesus has a home for all of us in heaven, too. That news makes me feel like flying. Um, Sparky, you are flying. Oh, yeah. Yippee! Let's all sing a song about the day Jesus flew. We'll help you learn it. The Savior climbed a mountain, the Savior climbed a mountain, the Savior climbed a mountain, and what do you think he did? He spoke to his disciples, he spoke to his disciples, he spoke to his disciples, and what do you think he said? Tell everybody about me, tell everybody about me, tell everybody about me, then what do you think he did? He rose up into heaven, he rose up into heaven, he rose up into heaven, and so will all of us, and so will all of us, and so will all of us. He rose up into heaven, and so will all of us. Sing along! 
The Savior climbed the mountain, the Savior climbed the mountain, the Savior climbed the mountain, and what do you think he did? He spoke to his disciples, he spoke to his disciples, he spoke to his disciples, and what do you think he said? Tell everybody about me, tell everybody about me, tell everybody about me, and what do you think he did? He rose up into heaven, he rose up into heaven, he rose up into heaven, and so will all of us, and so will all of us, and so will all of us. He rose up into heaven, and so will all of us. <laughs> Good job. That song was really out of sight. And Jesus was really out of sight, too. Why are you standing there staring into the sky? Because there are five bed bugs hidden up there. Can you help us find them? <laughs> right, there's a hidden bed bug. Keep looking all around. Right again, you found a second hidden bed bug right in this cloud. Any others? Oh boy, I see another bed bug hiding up there. That's amazing. Keep up the good work. Super! You've almost found all of the bed bugs. Just one more to find. Keep looking, gang. And there she is! You found every one of those silly bed bugs! Way to go, gang! That's all the time we have for today, gang! We hope you had fun, and we hope to see you again real soon! And always remember that Jesus loves you very much! Bye bye! <laughs>